Tape Corona, who invites you to find your beach. There we see two years older is Toriano Johnson. Just one inch height advantage for Johnson, but take a look at the reach there. 73 and a half for Johnson. Compared to that, a 67 and a half for one. Sergey Deryachenko and Toriano Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, from Main Street here in Miami, Oklahoma, Premier Boxing Champions now features the main event, live on FS1, 10 rounds in the middleweight division. The three judges ringside are Don Griffin, John Stewart, and David Sutherland. And the referee in charge, when the bell sounds, Gary Ritter. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. Where Johnson and across the ring his opponent fighting out of the blue corner wearing the blue with the white trim as a professional he is perfect 10 bouts 10 victories eight of those coming by way of KO fighting out of Brooklyn New York by way of the Ukraine ladies and gentlemen Nami Gospadam Sergey the technician Eliminator matchup okay, between Sergey Deryachenko and Toriano Johnson. Eliminator, I suggest you conduct yourself as champions. Obey my commands. Touch gloves. Both trunks are good. Let's go. There you see Toriano Johnson. Johnson and Derviachenko. Derviachenko has been wiping out his opponents, I can recollect, when he put out Sam Solomon last July in Connecticut with a vicious left hook. Toriano Johnson, who has been on the cusp of fighting for a world title on two separate occasions, actually had a fight lined up with Gennady Golovkin, but had to pull out because of a shoulder injury. And since that time, has been working hard to regain that golden opportunity. Rafe Lawrence, Robert the Ghost Guerrero, Jordan Hardy here, ringside in Miami, Oklahoma. Yeah, he said that shoulder's been doing very well. It's strong and he's ready to go. Stop, stop, stop. For Toriano Johnson, he is fighting in the memory of his former trainer, Tyrone Jones, who has passed away. He has Antonio Bendicart, who is his trainer. We will have more on that with Jordan Hardy. As you see that Johnson is a southpaw. And then he comes into conventional. So he went from southpaw to conventional. And he is changing up his looks there. Literally changing his stances in mid-stride, Robert. Yeah, he's just walking in. Crossing his... That, that could be uh, dangerous, walking in like that. Off balance and you get hit. You go down. It's a knockdown. Derviachenko looks to go to the body. And Derviachenko, even though he's small in stature standing about five watch nine out, out when he hits you many times and for the most part with an 80 percent knockout percentage his opponents do fall and an overhand right that momentarily backed up toriano johnson yeah he throws a fastball right hand and when it lands it does damage and it is toriano johnson who's trying to walk down derviachenko about this crowd here this crowd is great great turnout they came out to support they love premier boxing champions here in Miami Oklahoma this is the first time that we have been here when it comes to the PBC and they have welcomed us with open arms yeah I hope to be back very very family people I was able to get out here yesterday and meet some of the residents out here business owners and they op they opened up their doors with love and we're glad, I'm glad we're giving him a great show here. And right now, Derviachenko and Johnson are showing no love towards one another as it is Derviachenko who places a straight right on the left side of the ribcage of Johnson. Johnson has a great deal of respect for 
Derek Yachenko says that Sergey's an awesome fighter. He's good at things, but he's not a great fighter, and I can expose that. So far, he's doing a great job putting that pressure. Final 10 seconds of this world title eliminator. A couple left hooks there on the right side of the body of Toriano Johnson. Derby Chico and Johnson are picking up the intensity. You're watching PBC on FS1. These the biggest fight in combat sports history. We have prelims, pre-fight at 6 p.m. Eastern, prelims at 7. Tomas Delorme, your Dennis Ugas, Jose Miguel Borrego, and Juan Gelaldez square off as well. Looking forward to being at the T-Mobile Arena for that one. And Toriano Johnson is coming forward. There is a south line whacking Derviachenko. Derviachenko made his pro debut when he was 29 years of age, so he's barely been a pro. He competed in the World Series of Boxing, but that is not recognized as an official pro record. But he spent a lot of time as an amateur. And Robert, you know that a lot of fighters out there in Eastern Europe have a, they have almost a, their amateur career is like quadruple what their pro career is. Well, de definitely they come out of the amateurs, you know, ready to go as a pro almost. You know, having that many fights, and a lot of the fights they have are international duels, you know, Olympics, Goodwill Games. So it really, uh, really pays off for them. And what's interesting to note is for Sergey Derviachenko, this is a 12-round matchup, and he's been involved in fights that have been scheduled for 12 and 10, but his last two fights have, have been scheduled for that, but he's only been five rounds or more, just three times, all coming in his last five matchups. So if Johnson is able to take Dor Toriano or Derviachenko into the ninth, 10th round, it could be waters that Derviachenko has never swam in. Yes, and... The pressure looks like it's getting to him now. You know, he's putting that pressure on him, and that can that can pay David down the line. 80 seconds remaining. A crushing right hand that backed up Toriano Johnson, and Derviachenko seems to be warming up, but you see that the face is reddening as well for Derviachenko. Compliments of the work from Toriano Johnson. Put your hand out of there. A sneaky right hand that got through the guard. And you know what, this is one of those fights as we look at the, a big right hand, crushing right hand that backs up Toriano Johnson. When you look at all the fights that we've had this week, toe-to-toe -to -toe Tuesdays on Roger Tuesday down. night, a tremendous night of action there with Juan Carlos Payano being successful against Alexis Santiago. And now here tonight with Sergey Derevyuchenko, Toriano Johnson. Obviously we have Mayweather McGregor tomorrow, but this is the fight where people are saying, wait a minute, what a way to camp Stop, off your right, Friday night with Derevyuchenko and Toriano Stop. Johnson. Oh, yes. This gives you a little glimpse of, uh, you know, what could come up down the line in the future of boxing also. So it, it is a great fight. They both are in the phone booth right now, and they're going at it. And even though Derevyuchenko is 31 years of age, dare I even say, not because I'm getting ready to turn 31, but it is a young 31 for Derevyuchenko. Oh, yes. It, it's... It's how you preserve your body, you know, going down the line, not putting through a lot of punishment, the right training, having everything done the proper way. You can last in the sport. And the closing moments of round two. This one's scheduled for 12. You're watching PBC here on FS1. The winner will be in line for a title shot for the IBF. Middleweight championship currently held by Gennady Golovkin, both Yachenko and Toriano Johnson. Incidentally, both competed in the 2008 Beijing Olympics. It was Johnson for the Bahamas, Yachenko for the Ukraine. And Toriano Johnson became the third person to qualify for the Olympics boxing wise for the Bahamas so he certainly made some history did Toriano Johnson yeah he was talking about he did a lot of work down in Cuba also for a few years and just being with the Cuban Olympic team I mean it's, it's incredible to get the work knowing guys like Eris Landy Lara and uh, Joel Casamayor real good uh, they come out ready to go as a pro and Johnson also told us that it was going there to Havana, Cuba, that, you know, he learned what it was like to go ahead and train on the outside and deal with the humidity and the heat that Cuba had. And he said that transitioning here with this is first outdoor fight would be no problems. And we're seeing that he's very active tonight against Sergey Derviachenko. 
Yeah, he was saying also too, from the being from the Bahamas, he said this is. Uh, he was hoping it would be nice and hot because it'd feel like home. We have a nice little cool breeze that we feel here. We are in downtown Miami, Oklahoma on Main Street. Outside under the lights, a gorgeous Friday evening. And Derevchenko throws a big right hand. And Derevchenko is walking through fire. Now he goes downstairs as well. But Johnson is willing to retaliate. Two big right hands followed by a hook. And Derevchenko has Johnson hurt. Johnson retreating. Darren Machenko is doing a great job hitting those angles and landing those power shots. Darren Machenko is nonstop, has a very high guard, and he gets a lot of leverage behind his punches, and that is what has been backing up Johnson. But Johnson, with his will, is coming forward again. Stop, break, step back, step back, step back. Fight. Gary Ritter will separate them. I think that feeling out process has dissipated, Robert. Yes, that feeling out process went out the window now. It's, they're, they're rocking now. They're letting them go and letting them fly. Well, it's different paces. Derevchenko picked up the pace. He was walking down Johnson. Johnson went back, and now he came forward. It is a battle of wills inside the ring here tonight with PBC on FS1. Yeah, they're fighting over that ring generalship. And man, it's turning out to be a great fight. Watch out! Your hands are free. Watch out! Dariachenko, the left side underneath his left eye, it is bruised. So those are compliments of those straight right hands from Toriano Johnson. Final stages of this third round between Sergey Dariachenko and Toriano Johnson. That's the end of the third. And let's take a look at some of the work here between both. Darius Chico picking up the pace, throwing big hands. We'll come back with the fourth round. What's we see on FS1? Sergey Darius being attended to by Andre Rozier with Jordan Hardy. Great, thank you. Darius Chico had a late start to his professional career. He was actually 28 when he turned pro. But listen to this, he had over 400 amateur fights. So he definitely has experience, but at 10-0, he is already on a fast track to becoming as a world champion, as we can see tonight. He actually set a goal for himself to be a world champ within three years of turning pro, and last month was that three-year mark, but if Derry Vincenco is successful tonight, then he is just one step away from achieving, achieving his dream of becoming a world champ. Ray? Thank you very much, Jordan. He certainly can get on the doorstep if he's successful tonight against Toriano Johnson. Derry Vincenco looking to hand Johnson the second defeat of his pro career, and Johnson got rattled there by a couple of right hands, but Johnson answers back, and they are both going toe-to-toe -to -toe here stop, tonight. Darian Checo's doing a great job on hitting those angles and landing those big shots. And Johnson, as we see the pace that he is setting, I saw Darian Checo take a big, deep breath, but the jab is coming out more for Sergey Darian Checo. He's going back to the basic fundamentals, Robert. Yes, and that's what's he's trying to create that Watch space out. so he can make Watch that out. short little tight turn and land some shots and create that space to throw a really good power shot in there. And Toriano Johnson, when we asked him about his loss at the hands of Curtis Stevens back in 2014, he was winning the fight in all nine rounds, and then in the tenth, he got clipped. And the referee in charge, Gary Rosanto, brought an end to the contest. Johnson felt it was a premature stoppage, but still, he learned from that defeat to Curtis Stevens and a big overhand right that connects again for Sergey Deryachenko. Stop, stop, stop! And now... You got him low. You got him low. You okay? Gary Ritter... You okay? But ...warns Toriano Johnson about going low. 65 seconds left. 75 seconds left, I beg your pardon, here in this fourth round between Sergey Deryachenko and Toriano Johnson. Punch out your hands now Deryachenko ties stop, stop, up. Could that be an indication stop, that Deryachenko is getting hold. tired, Robert? I think he's just trying to break in the action so he can get his distance and get off to the side and land some big shots. He's trying to create that space for himself to land with leverage on his punches and not be smothered. Stop, stop, break, stop, stop, stop. Gary Ochenko, when it comes to the pro ranks, is used to somebody like Toriano Johnson to withstand his power and keep coming forward to try to bully him. So this is, dare I even say, foreign territory for Sergey Deryachenko. Yeah, this is what's going to show what kind of fighter he is with that type of pressure. If he can pull it out and get his distance and stay really calm and be able to, to make the 12 rounds. 
Well, that sequence right now was gorgeous as we saw. Oh, my goodness, what a crushing uppercut that snapped the head back of Toriano Johnson as Derianchenko goes to the body, and then he decides to transition upstairs. Sergey Derianchenko is looking to really do his best to dissect Toriano Johnson. And they go back to the corner. Let's take a look and observe some of the work in what was an eventful fourth round. Sergey Derviachenko going upstairs, shooting that right cross down the middle, Robert. And Derviachenko being very active. It's all coming down to him having room to shoot his punches and land those power shots. It's having that right distance. That's where he's most dangerous. Hey, don't forget about what we have in store for tomorrow. Obviously, Mayweather McGregor live on Showtime pay-per-view. Coverage begins at 6 o'clock. It's Angela Beast to beating undefeated. Looks to remain that way against Steve USS Cunningham, the former IBF Cruiserweight champion. Round number five. This one is scheduled for 12. Robert, it is Derevchenko who is coming on and starting to dictate the pace of this fight. Yeah, he's starting to hit those angles and walk him into punches. And that's what he needs to do to be successful in this fight. There you see it right there, getting off to the side. Johnson coming in with that, that peekaboo style and just putting a tremendous amount of pressure. He's able to get off and, and Dermachenko's able to get off and sidestep and land some big shots on him. And Dermachenko is going downstairs to the body, even though he likes to mix up and bury his attack, but he still goes back and remains poised on ripping the body of Toriano Johnson. That yeah, goes to show all that amateur experience he has. It was coming into play. And Toriano Johnson isn't throwing with as much frequency and isn't as active. Robert, could that be because the body attack is starting to wear on him? It's a little bit of both, but it's. I really think it's the angles that Dermachenko's giving him, where he's not. He's not able to see him in front of him. Toriano Johnson has a burst of speed as we are nearing the halfway mark of round five. This one's scheduled for 12. His straight and left. Stop, break, step back, step back. Connected Box. right there. Gary Riddle will separate the two. Every time he gets up right hand. Angle. By Sergey Derevchenko, that momentarily seemed to hurt Toriano Johnson. Johnson has his guard up, and he isn't throwing anything right now. He was just absorbing punishment for that brief moment. Every time he gets off on an angle, he just lands beautiful shots and walks him right into it. And Toriano Johnson now, instead of being on his heels and throwing with a lot of leverage, Robert, he's more lumbering now. We, we've seen that his style is wearing a little bit, and he's lumbering around the ring and isn't on his heels as much. It's apparent that the punishment that he's taking from Derevchenko is starting to take its toll. Yes, he's just trying to put that pressure and just keep coming forward and trying to smother Derevchenko's punches. But every time he gets off on that angle, he lands a big shot on him and he's taking a toll on him. And also from a mental aspect, when Johnson comes forward, Derevchenko, he ties up and then he immediately goes back and a crushing right hand that caught the guard of Toriano Johnson. And a big right cross that landed there by Derevchenko. And Derevchenko just got off a brilliant four-punch combination. Derevchenko is starting to unload on Toriano Johnson. And what a way to conclude round five for Sergei Derevchenko. It is the technician who is going to work against Toriano Johnson. You see on FS1, he stopped Kimai Russell, Toriano Johnson. Last time he was inside the ring was also in March. A second round knockout over Fabiano Pena. Get your arms out of there. And now let's send it to our own Jordan Hardy, who has more information on Toriano Johnson. Great, thank you. I was just over in Johnson's corner after that those flurries that Darren Chenko was landing, similar to now. His coach asked him. Reno, do you want this? He said yes. He told him, don't quit. Keep your hands up. And when, when Jeremy Chinko pushes uh, 
uh, Johnson off of him like they're about to see him probably do now. He was telling him to counter and get back on the inside right there and go to the body. So we'll see if he'll make these adjustments. Ray, back to you. Thank you very much, Jordan. So what we took away from Jordan's report is that they do not want to allow Dariuchenko off the hook going to the body there was Toriano Johnson. So when Dariuchenko holds and instead of him stepping to the side, they want Johnson to be more active and throw more punches and make Dariuchenko pay. Yes, they don't want to give him that room, that space to punch, because that's where he's most dangerous when he has the room and he's off to the angle. And even though Dariuchenko fights well on the inside, the one thing that he told us in the fighter meetings was, I need to use my distance. And a big uppercut there that just connected for Dariuchenko. And Dariuchenko moving forward, but he has that shoulder in front of him to protect himself. And he's doing a great job getting his distance, turning him, getting off in the angle. And, man, he's doing a an awesome job getting that get shot in over the overhand right is coming out beautiful there are some guys who have lengthy and successful amateur careers and you wonder if they can transition well to the pro well you look at somebody like sergey deryachenko and the question and the answer is absolutely it is transitioned marvelously to the professional ranks yes he's mixing it up very well he's also coming down to the body after every combination and that's really going to take a toll down the line and Andre Rozier, his trainer, I mean, Deryuchenko spars with Daniel Jacobs and, you know, a host of others there in Brooklyn, New York. So he certainly is not lacking any valuable sparring. Oh, no. He's very prepared, very ready for this. As you can see, very calm in the, very calm in the ring under this kind of pressure. And uh, I think he's doing a tremendous job, like I said before, getting off on those angles and landing big shots. Well, Toriano Johnson is throwing more punches, and I even say that he's more active here in this round than what we've seen in the past two or three rounds. So whatever his corner told him in terms of being more active, it has certainly paid dividends. Oh well, yeah, it got through to him when they asked him, do you really want this? So he started putting that pressure and letting him go, and that's what he needs to do. As soon as they take that step back, he needs to let him go and not just shell up because that's where Jerry Machenko gets his shots off. Final moments of round six between Sergey Deryachenko and Toriano Johnson, a matchup in the middleweight division. You're watching PBC on FS1. Fox at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Do not miss it. Round 7. This one is scheduled for 12. Robert, through the first six rounds, how do you have the fight scored? I have the fight scored uh, four rounds to three. So four to two in favor I mean four of, to, I'm sorry, four of, Tori, to two. of Sergey Deryuchenko. Yes. And when we were talking about lighting a fire underneath somebody, we heard that in between the fifth and the sixth round for Toriano Johnson. Robert, do, are there times when you're a fighter and you need that extra motivation or a good pep talk in the corner? You obviously had your father, Ruben, in your corner during the duration of your career. Oh, yes, all the time you need that pep talk. You need, you need somebody that's going to drive your corner and tell you, hey, you, know, you need to pick it up. You need to pick it up. You're starting to slow down. You're starting to lose rounds. You need to pick it up. So... Uh, you know, it looks like he's taking the advice and he's starting to pick it up and put that pressure and also punch as soon as uh, Dermachenko steps back. Dermachenko is moving forward and he snuck in a right hand, but also getting an uppercut to land on the chin of Dermachenko was Johnson. Two uppercuts that have connected over the past 15 seconds for Toriano Johnson, the 33-year-old, originally from Nassau, Bahamas. Yes, that uppercut's one of most, his most dangerous punches. And he just landed two beautiful ones. The leverage, though, that Darius Hanker gets behind every shot is something that I think a lot of young fighters need to take account of. Nothing that he throws is anything. He doesn't have arm punches. He gets a lot of leverage, and it all comes from the ground up, Robert. Oh, yeah, he's just like a major league pitcher. He fires those fastballs, and he fires them hard. Toriano Johnson is still aggressive coming forward uh, this is certainly not an easy night at the office for both fighters i think it's the atmosphere out here it's like a movie set out here and it's incredible uh, one of the uh, most unique venues that i have ever been a part of from a fight standpoint here in miami oklahoma and sergey deryachenko and toriano johnson i mean What's the point of having cell phones when you are fighting in a phone booth? Exactly, and that's what they're doing. And they're doing a great job. 
Momentary lapse in action, but Derevchenko goes back on the offensive. And Toriano Johnson, a couple of right hands on the left side of the head of Derevchenko. A nice body shot for Johnson. There is so much on the line. The winner will be number one in the IBF middleweight rankings. And they will await the winner of Triple G and Candelo. And that ends the seventh round. You're watching PBC on FS1. You probably never seen that before. So A whatever master works line. for you. Wow. We, we've never seen anything like that. And I've seen, we've both seen many things in boxing. And for you to say, my goodness, what credence that has. Watch your hands. Yes, sir. Sir. And our own Jordan Hardy was in the corner of Sergei Deryachenko. Jordan, can you talk to us about what they told him? Stop, oh, break, break, sure step back, his step coaches back. were saying, Go telling him, use Box. the jab up and down, and then light his, I can't say the other word, up. Light him up. That's what they want him to do. So they, they don't want him when he's on the inside. They don't want him to stay on the inside too long. They want him to use his jab, move it up and down, and score from the outside. But one thing they were really stressing was to keep it cool and stay relaxed. They're pretty sure that the, he's got it in. So they just want him to stay relaxed and use his jab, move up and down. Simple. Greg, back to you. Thank you very much, Jordan. Absolutely simple. I mean, they pretty much told him a couple of things, and Darius Chico is going on trying to execute that, Robert. Yes, I mean, he looks a lot better than, than his last outing. You know, he looks really relaxed. His punches ain't, you know, with everything on him. It's like he's just placing them in the right spots with the right power. And Derevchenko, very rarely has he put himself in precarious positions in this fight. But as he was holding, as we take, as we observed the look in his eye, I mean, he's taking some deep breaths. Not to say that he's fading by any stretch, but this is testing his conditioning. Oh, yes. Derevchenko's doing a great job on his toes, punch you know, making those out. turns, getting off to the side, landing his shots, and getting right back on that Stop. jab just like they wanted him to do. And Robert, when well, you're a prospect as we approach this being 80 seconds in the eighth round, when you're someone who is an up-and-coming contender, but you've really never been to this stage of a fight against someone who is tough as nails like Toriano Johnson, what is going through your mind? Get the job done. Pull it out. Do what you got to do to win. And he's doing a great job. You can tell the amateur the amateur background he's had. He's able to let his punches go, and he's able to stay calm and relaxed. And Gary Chico picking up a big right hand that lands on Johnson, and Johnson backing up. Daria Chico unleashing a combination as he sticks the jab, and he snuck in that right cross as well. Toriano Johnson is just so tough because those combinations are quote-unquote lighting him up as his corner wanted. Oh, yes. It's like he said, this is a lifestyle for me, and I like to fight on the inside. And, man, he's taking a lot of punishment doing it. But Johnson continues to press forward. At this particular point, Robert, from what you're seeing out of Toriano Johnson, should the corner think about maybe saying one round, if you don't show us a lot, then we're going to pull the plug because Derichenko is punishing Toriano Johnson. Yeah, he's taking a lot of punch shots out, coming in out. and putting that type of pressure. And as soon as he ties up, it just the shots come on. That's the end of the eighth as Johnson walks back to his corner. And... Let's take a look as we observe some of the work in this eighth round and look at Sergey Deryachenko. Yeah, he got his distance nice, landing those big shots, getting off in those angles, and it's working very well every time he gets off to the side and he's listening to his corner. You know, stay on that jab and set it up, and that's working out beautiful for him. And start sticking him with that jab. Both men are going to be hurting in the morning, but one will be in line for a world title shot if they are successful and gain the W. And Johnson was grimacing for a brief moment. I don't know if that was an inadvertent shot below the belt by Derevchenko, but they both exchanged right crosses there at close distance. Hey, don't forget, be a part of the conversation on social media. Use the hashtag PBC on FS1. Again, follow us on social media. Use the hashtag PBC on FS1. Follow us at Premier Boxing and also at FS1. Yeah, Johnson is just pretty much starting to walk into punches. And it's starting to get dangerous for him. Now. 
Well, as we saw when it came to Hugo Centeno Jr. when he knocked out Emmanuel Lean in our co-main event in the third round, those one-punch knockouts, as they like to tell us, physicians have told us, that those are not necessarily the ones that you have to really worry about. It is these 10, 11 round beatings that you have to really pay attention to and observe a fighter to make sure that they are okay. Oh, yes. Taking the punishment throughout the 10, 12 rounds, that's where you do the most damage. You take a lot of hard shots, and then you put your body through the ringer, you put your head through the ringer also. So, uh, you know, sometimes it's better for a guy to get knocked out with one shot because they can recover from it quicker and they can put themselves through that ringer. Well, Johnson is putting himself in the ringer because this is the third time he has been in something like this. The first time he lost to Curtis Stevens by... 10th round knockout. He was in line to fight Gennady Golovkin, and then he had to pull out because of a shoulder injury, and this is his third opportunity to potentially garner a title shot. But Johnson is walking forward, but Dario Chico doing a nice job to fight off the ropes. Yeah, Johnson is game. I mean, you can tell he's coming. What he needs to do is just let his hands go a lot more. But walking into shots, I mean, it, he's one of the guys that's too tough for his own good. Absolutely. And Johnson and Dariuchenko, they are tying up here. As referee in charge, Garrett Ritter will separate them. And Johnson was pretty adamant to us. He goes, I'm not surviving, I'm conquering. Well, he has a lot of work to do if he's to conquer Sergey Dariuchenko, but he threw an uppercut, and they both continue to go back and forth and toe-to-toe. -to -toe. How about those boxing boots Johnson has? They look nice. Especially with the peacock feathers on it. The man has a lot of style, but Sergey Dariuchenko is demonstrating his style and his technical prowess tonight against Toriano Johnson. A little shoe shine work by Johnson to end the ninth round as there is blood on the left side of the cheek of Sergey Dariuchenko and some bruises on the right side of the head of Dariuchenko as well as Andre Rozier speaking with the man that they call the technician. I don't see him slowing down anytime soon. He's doing a great job lending his punches. And ladies and gentlemen, do not forget tomorrow night, for Sergei Dariuchenko. He hasn't been to the 10th in his pro career. So what is going through the mind of the 31-year-old out of the Ukraine? I mean, he's doing a great job just picking him apart, staying relaxed. You know, staying relaxed in the corner is a big key also when you come back to, to the corner and sit down and rest. That's where you got to recover the most. And he's doing a great job, and his team's doing a great job also in the corner. For Toriano Johnson, he's coming out and he's more aggressive, and there seems to be a sense of urgency in the corner and being displayed by Toriano Johnson. Yes, he's starting to get into that mode where he's just trying to make something happen now, trying to get punches some up. rhythm going. But he's walking into punches doing it. Stop, break, step back, step back. For Sergey Dariuchenko, with, with the fact that he's hit Johnson with everything in his arsenal, could that be like discouraging? Like, man, oh man, I hit him with clean shot after clean shot. I can't put this guy down. No. It just gets you back to like, hey, I got to work. I got to break the guy down, and I can't knock him out with one punch. And he's doing a great job doing that, and this is the type of stuff that gets you ready for that championship fight. And also, he's not overextending himself. That's another thing. When it comes to big knockout punchers, when they don't get the knockout, sometimes they get discouraged. And a couple uppercuts as Toriano Johnson is coming forward, but going back to work is Sergey Dariuchenko. Backs him up with a left hook. Yeah, this is a great week for boxing, especially this fight right here. That phone booth fight and just letting punch punches out. go after punch. And it, it is great to see. This is a throwback to, as they like to say, the old days. Guys that just want to stand and trade and sit in the pocket and let their hands go. And both Dariuchenko and Johnson have exhibited that here this evening. Really throwback. I mean, the atmosphere sitting out here downtown. You have the theater in back of us. I mean, it's incredible. And we know that tomorrow will be incredible with Floyd Mayweather and the notorious Conor McGregor.
But so far, we have gotten a scintillating affair between Darian Schenko and Toriano Johnson. He's doing a great job letting his punches go and also keeping his hands up. Johnson is pressing forward, but turning him around is Darian Schenko. Final 30 seconds of round 12, 10. This one's scheduled for 12. And now Johnson squares himself up, and this could be dangerous territory for the 33-year-old. You don't want to square yourself up against Sergey Derevyanchenko. Now, especially with the little chopping overhand. Just like that. And an uppercut right there through the guard. And round number 10 will conclude. Two more rounds remaining. Sergey Derevyanchenko and Toriano Johnson. Two more left, and both men are starting to show some effects from the inside fighting and the punishment that they both delivered. Beautiful uppercuts. He needs to do a lot more of that when he's in the inside. Let him go. But here comes Machenko right back. Darren Machenko lets him fly right after, so. Out deep, and there you see Andre Rozier. They have to be pleased with what they have witnessed from their contender and Sergey, the technician Dervianchenko. Round 11, this one's scheduled for 12. Ray Flores, Robert the Ghost Guerrero, the champ, and Jordan Hardy. Honored to be here ringside in Miami, Oklahoma on Main Street, outside under the lights in the northeast portion of Oklahoma. And now with more on what is going on in the corners, as a big right hand that backs up Toriano Johnson. Derevyanchenko going to work, followed by a crushing right hand, and oh my goodness, Johnson is in a heap of trouble, and he is getting taken, and there was a stumble there for Sergei Derevyanchenko. And it was a headbutt is what happened, as Jordan Hardy points that out to me, but they are now swinging and swinging for the fences. Oh my goodness, look at this. What an 11th round. We haven't even hit the one minute mark in this round 11 and they both have come out swinging like they need a knockout well toriano johnson does it doesn't appear as though Derianchenko doesn't yes every time he's on that distance he's landing big shots big combinations 100 seconds remaining in round 11. punch out guys your hands are free punch out now Derevyanchenko will tie up, and Robert, from what we saw in the early portion of that 11th round, it looked like Derevyanchenko was going to find a way to stop Toriano Johnson, or at least knock him down. Yes, now he's letting him go. You know, a little bit of what he used to do before was throw hard, fast, rocketing combinations, and in the 11th round, that's what he's doing. And a sharp uppercut as well is what we're seeing from Sergey Derevyanchenko. But man, oh man, when you talk about the slogan, tough as nails, a left hook that stunned Johnson. Toriano Johnson is as tough as nails, but he is getting beaten down by Sergey Derevyanchenko. Derevyanchenko crushing right hand. Gary Ritter is watching, and he may be in line to possibly stop this fight. Johnson is going backwards, and Sergey Derevyanchenko is turning up the heat against Toriano Johnson. Yeah, he's starting to break him. He broke him down throughout the fight, and now he's trying to take him out, and he's almost ready to go. And there is blood streaming from somebody. We cannot tell from our vantage point. It appears as though it is coming from Toriano Johnson. Yeah, the left good. eye, the left side of the eye is what is bleeding, and that could be because of a headbutt that we heard about, but it also could be from a punch as well, Robert. Yes, it could be from either one. I mean, the exchanges were incredible, and... A lot of hard punches were thrown, so we'll find out what the referee ruled on it. Final 10 seconds as we near the end of the 11th round between Sergey Derevyanchenko and Toriano Johnson. The winner will be in line to challenge for the IBF Middleweight Championship. And Toriano Johnson's going back to the corner. He hasn't even sat down yet.
And here we see some of the work from Sergei Deryachenko. Every time he has that distance, he's ready to land those big shots. And he gets his, he gets off to the angle and he drops those little overhand right hands. And man, it's doing a lot of damage to Johnson. Deryachenko staggering Toriano Johnson. And Johnson, they, Derry Ritter, it went over the referee in the corner of Toriano Johnson is being attended to by Antonio Bendicar, his trainer. And he looked at him, he gave him a very long look. And Johnson stands up and he appears to be okay. And now let's send it to the third member of our broadcast team with more on what's going on in the corners. Here's Jordan Hardy. Great, thank you. You guys, we have to remember in the fighter meet yesterday, Toriano told us that if, if Darian Chico comes to fight, that this is going to be a treat and a show, and that's definitely what this is. I was just in the corner of Johnson, and they said this is the last round. You've got to knock him out. Touch him up and finish him off. So we'll see if he's got the heart and the strength to finish it, or if Darian Chico is going to come forward and take him in the deep waters like he's already done. Great, back to you. Thank you very much, Jordan and Robert. Sergey Deryachenko, he's never been 12 rounds in his pro career, but he is passing the test with blind toes. And a big left hook to Johnson, and finally Johnson hits the canvas, and Gary Runner has seen enough. And Sergey Deryachenko holds Toriano Johnson, and now it is Deryachenko who is the number one contender for the IBF middleweight championship of the world. Yeah, and he broke him down nice throughout the fight. That's what you want to see going into a title shot, is somebody come in, work the body, work the head, keep that distance, and come through a grueling fight like this, because you know he can take it, and he can put it out. Toriano Johnson, what heart, what determination, but tonight he fought someone who broke him down and was just beating him to the punch and Sergey Dergo finds a way to stop Toriano Johnson will come back to get the official particulars you're watching PBC on FS1